This next comment and question comes from Renee. Yep. She says, don't people, most people come to God because of fear? <laughs> For example, when people are afraid of dying, they seem to cry out to God. Mm -hmm. Doesn't this mean that fear is a good thing? <laughs> uh, this is a funny question. Uh, fear is not a good thing ever, including if it motivates you to come to God because of it. Because if you're coming to God because of fear, you don't understand God at all. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> God doesn't respond to your fear. God responds to love. God responds to desire for truth. God doesn't respond to your fear. Yeah. So a lot of people do uh, come to so-called come to God because of fear, but they don't have a relationship with God, mm -hmm. right? And they never will, because when you come to God because of fear, you're not going to God at all. God God doesn't honor your fear. God doesn't you know, want you to live in it, mm -hmm. and God knows that your fear is actually an emotion you just need to feel. So when, you, when your fear motivates you to go to God, then you're not really going to God at all, at all. Mm. Now, that is in direct contrast with what half the world's religions will teach you, but the reality is God is not interested in people who come to God out of fear. Mm -hmm. God's interested in people who come to God out of desire. Mm -hmm. That's why a person who's in fear whether it's of God or of what's about to happen to them because of God's creations, yep. um, will never receive God's love mm -hmm. because God does not respond to fear at all. Mm -hmm. so, so you can tell yourself that you came to God because of fear. You didn't. Right? You didn't come to God because of fear because you, there's no such God that responds to it. <laughs> you, you come to some imaginary God because yeah. of fear. Yeah. And the relationship I would suggest that a, such a person has with God is imaginary as well mm. because the reality is you do not have a relationship with God unless fear is outside of the relationship. So in other words, you've got to work your way through your fears yeah. in order to come to God. And what about pain when people are in extreme emotional pain and they cry out for God or they... Yeah, well, a, a lot of that... times it's impurely motivated. Yeah. <clears throat> so... In other words, God knows our motivations. It's like, and also bear in mind that much of our pain occurs because of God's natural laws. Mm -hmm. So when we cry out to God saying, please don't let me have so much pain, we're pray, saying to God, please don't let me live by your laws. Yeah. Like now, of course, God, God can't respond to that. Now, if, we, if our pain causes us to see that we've done something or we're acting in something that's out of harmony with love and we go to God because we've can see that we're out of harmony and we ask God, how is it that we're out of harmony? Now there's a prayer God can answer. Mm -hmm. the, the, the prayer will be answered if it's in harmony with God's yeah. laws and will. And, and for most of us, most of our prayers aren't in <laughs> harmony and that's why none of them are answered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every purely motivated prayer is always answered. Yeah. So if, if we have a prayer that's not answered, it's because it's not purely motivated. Mm -hmm. It's selfish. Mm -hmm. And usually people who are in pain become quite selfish. Mm -hmm. They want just the avoidance of their pain. They don't want to see what created their pain. Now, God's very interested in us when we say to God, wow, I'm in a lot of pain. And we have an emotional feeling towards God. I want to know what this pain's all about. What, how, how This pain has been created by me being out of harmony with love somehow. Mm -hmm. So please show me how. Yep. You know, God's going to definitely try to respond to that prayer. When I say try, it just depends on how open we are to listening to the result as to whether yes. we will hear the answer. You know, most of the time we're pretty closed to the answers, but God will always try. And God will even ask emissaries mm -hmm. to give us answers in, in those, under those circumstances. But God's certainly not going to be driven by any prayer motivated by fear or by self-interest or by our pain or our attempt to avoid it unless there are more pure motivations involved. God knows our heart okay. and prayer and God's love only responds to a pure heart. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it. We can't fool God. Yeah. We might be fooling ourselves, but we're not fooling God. So if we look back at the, this question, basically, Renee is, uh, it basically believes that she perhaps has been bought to truth mm -hmm. by being afraid of God. No, you haven't. You haven't absorbed any truth 
at all if you're afraid of God. Or being afraid of other things. Or being things. afraid of other things. You haven't absorbed any truth then either. Yeah. Right? You're just living in your fear mm -hmm. and you've got no relationship with God while you're in that place. Mm -hmm. None at all. The key is to see that. Yeah. The key is to go, okay, I think that fear of God is a good thing mm -hmm. and it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what the world's religions teach you, fear of God is not a good thing. You can't love someone you're afraid of. And, and you can't believe they're going to love you. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> That's the reality. You can't. If you're afraid of being punished or you're afraid of something bad happening to you because you don't come to God, then you haven't got a pure desire for God's a relationship with God. You want to come to God because you're afraid of something bad happening if you don't. So that's not, no, it's not, yeah. that's not loving. And also not, you're blaspheming God in that place. You're basically implying that God's going to harm you unless you worship God. Mm. That's, 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 that's like saying, oh, my government's going to put me in jail unless I believe what the government believes. What's the difference between those two statements? Or let's say we lived in Stalinist Russia mm -hmm. and we go, oh, I'm going to be put in jail unless I tow the communist line. Right. So from God's perspective, unless I tow God's line, I'm going to be put in jail of some kind. Right? Do you love that country if you're going to be put in jail, if you do something that's completely different to what the country believes? And if God's going to put you in jail... Do, <laughs> like under the same circumstance or punish you for something that you've chosen to do um, because you haven't worshipped God, then surely that's not, that God doesn't exist mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. that, that God just does not exist. Mm -hmm. and, and if you believe that God exists, then you've got some pretty severe distortions about God's nature mm -hmm. that you need to address before you'll actually receive God's love. Because God doesn't like anybody implying to God that God's a, a, a maniacal dictator who's willing to punish and destroy his own creations. Yeah. Like, and the reality is the average, the average religion on this planet who believes in God believes that God is a maniacal dis dictator who is willing to destroy millions of people at once. Mm -hmm. Like God's the worst murderer of all. God's the worst dictator of all. God's the worst person, you know, who involved in genocide of the human race under those circumstances. And that's not what God is. Mm. So, you know, so firstly, fear of God will never have, cause us to have a relationship with God. Yeah. Secondly, fear itself of our pain or any other thing in our life is not going to cause us to have a relationship with God. Relationship with God is driven by pure, desirous motivation. And a longing. A longing. And it's not a longing to avoid our pain or ourselves no, or no. our fear. And that's no. really what I felt Renee was getting at. That totally. Her desire to escape her pain and her fear is what brought her to God. Yes. And, and that's not a pure motivation and it hasn't brought her to God. I know this, Renee. Yeah. And she is not yet with God. Yes. And in, in any way. Yeah. She's not even begun her relationship with God yet because she... One of the main reasons is because she has this belief yeah. that somehow her fear of her own pain can bring her to God. No, it cannot. Mm -hmm. You need to have, have no fear of your pain to, bring, to go to God. Well, to connect to God, don't you? Yeah, you, God knows you that you to. have no need to fear your pain. Yeah. yeah. To connect to God, you're going to have to have no fear of your pain. Mm. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. the reality. Mm. And you're going to need to let yourself feel it. Yeah. And fear shouldn't be the driving force of any relationship, let alone your relationship with God. Yeah, and true. if fear is a driving force in any relationship, it's never going to be a good relationship ever. And that includes your relationship with God. Yeah. You're going to believe God to be something God is not, which is actually blasphemous to God's character and nature. It's blasphemous to God's personality. Even though God doesn't get offended by it, it's still <laughs> blasphemous yes. right? in the sense that it's falsely portraying God to be something that God isn't. Mm -hmm. And, well, it's portraying God to be something, I should say, that God isn't instead of those two negatives yeah. that I keep using. And, and this is the thing that we need to bear in mind is that often we imply towards God that God's terrible when the reality is God's just beautiful. Mm. And, and until we are driven by a motivation to know a beautiful God, then we're not really going to have a pure longing for God's love or a pure longing for the relationship. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I, I disagree completely with her. No, 
Anybody who says that fear has brought them to God, it has not brought you to God. It's brought you to a figment of your own imagination, which is not God. And any feelings you have from that figment of imagination probably come from spirits that, who, with whom you're in codependent addiction. Mm -hmm. It's not from God. Because mm -hmm. God cannot connect to a person who has false beliefs about God and who wants to retain them and only wants to come to God for self-interest. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very comprehensive. <laughs>